In this video, I want to show you how to make beautiful flower arrangements using no ice, no tape, and no flower food. Baby, the sound of you, better than honey, yeah. I want you off my mind, and on me, holding me closer than Morning, everyone today is Saturday um, what I have on my agenda today um, some months ago I did a video of how to do a beautiful flower arrangement and um, it was several people said hey I could not see it very well can you show it a little bit up closer so today what I am going to do we're gonna to do together we are going to um, go out and purchase some flowers and we are going to do a beautiful summer bouquet together well we are like a month in um, probably a week away from summer but I have redid our family room and I still have to do the dining room yes I am going to change the dining room totally different but I want to do an arrangement for the living room, the family room. So we're going to head to Kroger. You know your girl loves to purchase flowers on a, on a clearance, okay? And I'm going to show you a trick of how to keep your plants still beautiful by just getting them on clearance. So let's cross our fingers that we do find some flowers because it is now after Mother's Day and um, well, some week, tomorrow will be a week after Mother's Day. And usually Kroger will just throw the plants away after a certain point. Well, I have checked the two Krogers and those two Krogers really don't have anything. Um, I'm trying to avoid purchasing full price because you know your girl like to save some coins okay so um i do have another kroger that is close to me F um fyi if you have a Publix, Publix do not sell marked down flowers um before they will mark them down they will just throw them away so if you are looking for a marked down plant or um flowers fresh flowers do not go to the fresh market do not go to walmart and do not go to Publix. i don't know about food lion because your girl don't shop to food lion like that so um i would not know about food lion but nevertheless guys we are on the road i have already checked one and i already know about the other one they don't have any i happened to go by there yesterday they did not have any so i have one more kroger right here in the area of our uh, surrounding an area in my home so let's go ahead and travel over to that I have probably about 11 minute drive to that one from currently where I am so let's cross our fingers that we will find some beautiful flowers and the colors that we are definitely looking for is green and white greenery and any flower that is white okay so let's go ahead and get to Kroger so I see you when I get to So guess where I am? Kroger. You probably can't see it, but I'm at Kroger. And my muse finna get me copyrighted. So let me go ahead and Kroger. Let's see what kind of flowers they got. Look at my eye. Oh my God. Let's go. Okay, this is all they have. That's not worth it. They ugly. And that's a no. And I won't get enough out of that. So these are no. So these don't look that bad, but I'm asking them to get marked down. So here are the other ones. These things are so expensive now. That would have been perfect if it was on sale, but it's not. And they look good, so I know they're not gonna mark them down. So this is the only thing I was looking at these because I love peonies. Downfall, they are mixed. So they're mixed, so I don't want them mixed. 
and they are fourteen dollars now. Okay, guys, I found one for five twenty and five forty. This one is not white like I wanted, but it's like a peachy tan. But I do have a white one. And I got something else, and I'm gonna be bringing it to y'all. This is a huge piece of lily. I have not had one of these since my mom died. So I'm gonna show you on this one. And my girl, she's getting me some green and red. Okay, guys, so we are back home. I've been home for a while. Let me let me not cheat. I've been home for quite some time. But guys, I went on the right day because your girl really scored on some flowers okay so my lady that always at Kroger she know I have been buying Kroger plants for some time now and I told you I'm a girl I love giving myself flowers every week and that is what I absolutely do so she knows that and this time guys she was caught in the video okay so hi Miss Pam love you girl so when I went in today, I'm going to show you, i show you in the buggy what I did pick up. So they had the mini white. So um, I did get some of the mini whites. And um, I saw she had a cart with some ones that she was getting ready to mark down because um, I did see this one and she did mark it down because I saw like one or two with some white, some brown in it. And it's very easy to remove that. I'm going to show you how to remove it. But with this, this is like a palish, tannish pink. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. So unfortunately, guys, I always add baby's breast inside my plants. But unfortunately, no one has baby breast right now. Unfortunately. But Miss Pam came to my rescue. Yes, she did. So and she was getting ready to mark down some flowers. So I scored. Miss Pam, I love you, girl. So she gave me these. So look how beautiful those are there's some hot pink roses like a fuchsia color so i did pick up that one so i told her, i said i need some baby's breast and i need some greenery so she had a bouquet um in a big vase um i think you saw it if not here it is you will see what she's going over there to, to grab that one so a lot of the roses inside that one was going dead so she just peeked through and she was like here girl so I did get some green here, got a little bit of baby's breast, and she gave me these beautiful pink roses. They smell so good. So these are the ones that Miss Pam gave me. So beautiful. So you know I'm your pink and green girl. So I will be doing an arrangement for my office. So um I will be putting these in my office. But of course, we'll be using some of the baby's breast and then some of the greenery out of here to do our arrangements so um i'm gonna go ahead and just talk about this really really quick while we are talking about plants so when i went up to the service desk i was looking for someone in the floor because i wanted to ask about these and when i was standing over at the service desk i looked back at the floor department and i saw this huge piece of lily guys i have not had a peace lily now since my mom passed 12 years ago. Um, the school that my mom talked to at for 33 years, they gave my mom a huge peace lily. At the time, I had a Ford Expedition. Guys, leaving from the town my mom was from, going back to Columbia, South Carolina, where I was living, that huge peace lily took up the whole back end of the back seat of my expedition. I have not had a piece of lily since. So when Miss Pam came over, I asked her, I said, hey, I need to ask you a question. I said, you know, I, I tried to have a green thumb, okay? I'm not my mom and I'm definitely not my grandma, but they had some, some green, green thumbs. They had some Kelly green thumbs, okay? I'm still in the baby stage. So um, it was this piece of lily and I saw two places on the top that were brown and you know they were dying. So I did ask Miss Pam about it and she was like, girl, 
do you want it i said yes um i'll have to try to baby it because you know i'm not sure how to take care of peace lily i say every time i get ferns and peace lilies they seem to die on me so she was like well you know what i'll mark it down so here is the peace lily guys oh she's big so as you can see right here it is two that's done i'm gonna go in as far as i can down and cut it out but it also have a new shoot here a new shoot there and i have a lot of new pieces coming up so let me back up to show you guys here is the plan so i end up getting this plan for ten dollars and 48 cents so she is a new baby to our home and I think I'm going to love her. I do have a spot that I am going to put her. And I think she will get, I know they need a certain amount of sunlight. But in my breakfast room, I don't know why. I just took that part to just add my plants to. And I see my son has his baby over there also. So my 23-year-old, yes, he's in the plants like his mama. So um, I will be pruning that and that's what it's called pruning i will be pruning that and um in a video to come i will show y'all exactly where i put her but um on yesterday i did pick up some more flowers from one of the other Kroger's not far from me so let me grab those so these are the other ones that i picked up at um one of the other Kroger's sorry for the noise so um, I just came in and sat them in water. So this one does have a little bit of greenery in there, a little bit of purple in there, but I don't want the purple. So I'll mix that purple in with the pink. And I'm always looking for greenery. Let me tell you, if you don't want to add flowers, grab you some greenery, okay? Get you a vase, put that greenery in there absolutely beautiful just to sit out and it's also although it is clipped from the root it still gives you very good oxygen in your home it is so so nice sexy and serene just putting that greenery in your bathroom it gives your bathroom such a beautiful touch so um i've never seen this in um oh gosh they have it covered so i don't know what this is but um this is what it looks like it smells so good it smells so good and it was a dollar and 75 cents and this one was five dollars and 40 cents so we will be working with those also so let me go ahead and put uh, that up there so now what someone asked me was you showing it and i'm so used to taping off my vases to do my arrangements guys you don't have to do that you don't have to mess up your vases by putting tape on it i think that is a, a myth that someone started the only thing you got to know is how to crisscross your flowers the correct way as you can see right here i have my overhead camera up here so as i do this this time i want to show you overhead i'm going to be talking to you you here but i'm going to be showing you overhead of how to do these it is very easy very very simple but first of all what i do want to talk to you about let me take this out because when i was talking to miss um pam i told her about this and she was like oh i didn't know that so when you get your beautiful flowers if you're not ready for them to bloom wide open and once they start blooming and they open um the next step and phase is they're going to start dying off they have been clipped away from their main source and you're just using them to beautify your area they will eventually die so two things that you don't want to do i get these flowers on clearance you you saw the tags I, I never have to say that it, something that's not true um it's two things that just don't do one never use the plant food don't use that 
What this does is open up your plant and it will make your plant bloom out quicker and then die quicker. Okay, so that's number one, what you don't wanna do. Number two, don't add ice. Adding ice is the same thing this would do. Open up your plant faster and it will die quicker. So what I do guys, the only thing, and I had to learn the hard way, because I'm pretty sure if you are OD here at my home in the V-Hive, you have seen me add ice, you have seen me add plant food. But guys, what I had to sit back and do was really look at my plants throughout certain amount of days. And what I did realize, I did, um, about a month or two ago, what I decided to do, I put plant food in one and ice in the other one. And what I realized with the one, the plant food in it, the plant started dying within three days. Yes, three days. So the next one, one with the ice in it, two days later, I started seeing my pebbles fall off. So those are the two things, ice and plant food. Don't use it. Take it from your girl, okay? I'm not a plant expert, but when you pay attention to your plants, that is what you want to do. You want to know what will make your plants last longer, okay? And with me, I want mine to last longer, but I want them to look very, very pretty. Um, I'm going to show you, let me see which one. Um, I have three arrangements over in the family room those plants flowers have been over there in the area guys i would not kid you i would not lie to you three weeks three weeks so um i do have another small arrangement right here and these are peonies but before we start i'm going to show you a plant that i didn't use ice didn't use tape and I did not use the plant food. I got them on clearance and what they look like now, three weeks later. Okay guys, so this is the plant, three weeks old, and I got everything here on clearance. So as you can see, the white flowers in the front, I think they're like daisies, I think. If I'm wrong, tell me what the name of it. Guys, I just look, if they're pretty, I'm gonna buy them. So, um, when Miss Pam and I was talking, we was talking about the baby's breast, and she said, you know, when they start turning brown, they're really pretty. But what I don't like when you touch them and they fall off, me, it is time to go in the trash can. But um, the price that I paid for the baby's breast, I had packs and I think I bought like seven packs that day and they were on clearance for $1.25 a pack. So why am I gonna worry about throwing them away now? So like this greenery, three weeks old guys. Three weeks old and this is what it looks like still. So these can carry now for week number four. I will be adding those into some of these also. So now I'm gonna show you these. These, I add an extra, these are only two weeks old. So now at this point, you know there's no more light to this. What you need to do is go ahead and discard it. So that one definitely will be discarded. So now the lily. This is one, guys, that I told you, you have to be so careful about it. When I was talking to Miss Pam one day, I was telling her, I said, you know how I got some lilies, and when they did open up, the yellow pieces inside actually damaged my granite, my dishcloth, and all. And she was like, oh, when they open up, the first thing you need to do is clip it out. So you have seen in some previous videos where you saw once they open up, I clip them out. So some of the time you don't get to see that because when they open up, what I instantly do is just go ahead and clip them out of there. So I do do that one. So this one is three weeks old. So you know she is gone, okay? She's gone. So that one definitely one will go in the trash can. And these baby's breasts, I told you, once they start, ugh, I hate it. Um... 
when they start shedding and stuff that's another good one so we're gonna we're gonna reuse that so i'm trying to detangle the baby's breast because i don't want all that stuff although i'm going to clean my area anyway so here's the baby's breast once the baby's breast i'm i'm hoping you can see that once they become a brownish color like this um you can take them and flip them upside down and take plastic wrap and co um cover that and rubber band it and you can dry them out um if you have a dark dried area you can dry them out after you dry them out um it's a spray sealer it's something like um it's like a glue but it's not a glue and i forgot what the name of it but you can find that joann's or Mar um, marshall's or whatever in the floor department and you can spray these and they will last forever so um that's up to you but for me your girl is trash okay so now what i want to show you with this when i tell you guys that it still has is it lovely scent it still looks the same it still look the same but with this what you need to do is go down because these are all now dead so go down and with this one if you see this just go down and clean your stem get all of that stuff off of there it won't have any more leaves but what it what it will have is still more care it will still have character and you can continue using it so just with a little bit of cleanup they can go in your next floor arrangement so let me go ahead and clean this up and let's go ahead and start a new arrangement okay guys so i have taken the time to separate everything so i will go ahead and show you guys um what i did how i separated everything so um i separated from my light pink flowers to my pink flowers to my small white flowers to my green flowers the purple little flowers not sure what it is then i have only one stem of like a stem weed i guess you would call it then the greenery then i have another greenery and i'm so used to seeing these so i do get these often and also with all of this i had only one piece of baby's breast and i do have these so this is what i will be working on so let's go ahead and start making a arrangement so one of the things that i love to do and that is pruning so let's go ahead and start pruning some of the plant some of the flowers but i want to show you the correct way of how to prune. so let me go ahead and move my greenery so this is the greenery that i have so let's go ahead and move the greenery so let's go ahead and do some pruning so if you can see this this one it does need pruning so you just take this as far as you can down and just pluck it so that is what it means about pruning and this is a short stem so this will go in a smaller vase the leaves here does not look good so i'll go ahead and remove those so this is what you would be in up with and it has a lot of life to it so now I'm going to go through so you see it's one red there and it's still in there but it's kind of close I still peel it out I pop it out and I'm going to go ahead and remove my leaves and let me tell you when it comes down to your stems you definitely want to go ahead and remove them all the leaves from off the stems because what it would happen in your flowers that would definitely change your flower very quickly and when the flower water changes and it get like brownish or you can end up with mold and once you get mold in the bottom of your vase your flowers are really gone so if you see this one I do have two and I'm going to leave those two up there. They're higher up and the vase that I'm going to be using, it is pretty large. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those on there. So with this one is just removing the bottom leaves from it. And well, sorry, we have this one. We need to go ahead and remove. 
we have these well sorry I have that one so let me go ahead and pluck this one off so here we are well that one kind of like just make sure you really look at it so now that looks really good and doing this guys what you really really need to do is just look at your flowers really really good so in my white bunch i want to show you in the white bunch so this is how they are made in the white bunch you still want to pull those off the bottom because once again i tell you that will mess up your water but as you can see inside this one we do have a piece of brown so um go in and just pull that out see once i open it you will see even more brown so here it is just go ahead and pull that out and once you pull it out here you go you have some pretty fresh flowers this one is iffy to me so i'll go ahead and pluck that one up so here it is that is so easy to do it that way but you definitely don't want to just take your flowers and just go stuff them in the vase and say here you don't want to do that. You really want to take the time and baby and love on your um, flowers because the love that you give your flowers is the love that you will receive back from it. So um, that is something you definitely want to do. Make sure that you give your flowers some love. So don't ever just come in and grab your roses and put them in a vase and said, okay, they're okay. You don't want to do that. So we are removing as much as possible um, from these. And these are the white ones. I think these was like $5.40. So you see like that one right there is broken off. Have no fear. Just leave it alone. Don't worry about it. Don't clip it back. Don't do anything. Once again, I have one right here. Do not clip it back. Just leave it as is. Once you do your arrangement and put it all in, you don't have nothing to worry about. Just make sure that you remove those leaves. I see a lot of people. Um, I watch a lot of YouTubers and they do the fresh flowers also roses peonies with peonies um the biggest thing you have to watch with peonies if you have one of those leaves going down and it doesn't look good please remove it please remove it because it will damage your flowers your flower arrangement may look good that morning but by the time that night you will definitely see a difference so once again you see this is another reason why they mark it down. Let me take off my glasses. This is the reason why they do mark it down because you see what those leaves look like. So yes, um, go ahead and remove that. So I'm going to show you at the end all of the, the debris that after I went through and clean up these flowers. So I'm going to go ahead, let you watch this. I'm going to fast forward it and I'm going to show you guys how I clean up the rest of these roses. So... Here it is. Tell me, have you seen the? It was about five minutes ago when I seen the hottest chick that a young and never seen before. I say, oh, tell the girls I wanna meet up. On second thought, that ain't the way to go. I gotta give a game proper, spit it so she get it. There she is, I gotta stop her. Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a smile? I'm out of time. She's out the door. I gotta go for a ride. Should I talk about a smile? Oh, what about a smile? I'm out of time. She's out the door. I gotta go for mine. Cause they gon' say, yeah. Excuse me, Miss Bowman. And I gotta admit that you got my attention. You're making me want to say, yeah. all the flowers now i have pruned so look at them now absolutely so beautiful so these are the ones that are pruned so i came across one flower that i do want to show you guys and then i will show you everything that i removed so this rose if you look at really close you see it hasn't even opened up. So that'll give me the indication that the bottom of the root was not fully in the water. So I want you to tell me, do you think is this salvageable? If you say yes, you are correct. So what you want to do is just go in and peel back the layers. 
But when you peel back the layers, make sure you go all the way to the bottom base and pull that back. Do not leave any of that because it's considered rotten, it's, it's gone. So just a matter of pulling those pieces off. Now look at that. Absolutely beautiful. It's not open yet. So now you still have a rose that still has it open and it's good to go. So I've already removed all of the leaves from it. So this is <laughs> all of my debris. This is me pruning. This is me cleaning up the roses. So all of this can make a difference in your roses. All of this can cause your flowers to die quickly. So guys, let me clean up this mess and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so now we are on to the vase. So this is the beautiful vase that I will be using. So here you can see the vase. This vase I did pick up um, a while ago from at home store. So of course you see I still have the tag on it. It was $34.99. So that is so beautiful. I have the dishes and everything to match this. But nevertheless, guys, this is the vase that I will be using. So first thing I want to do is go to my faucet and just add some water in it. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I am back. I just used regular tap water from right out of the faucet, and this is about how much water I have in here. That is the reason why you want to take the extra leaves off your flowers because it will kill your flowers. So the first thing you want to do, trying to pull all of my flowers. I got a lot of them. So I want to do my arrangement for down here first so I want to use all my flowers first so I'm gonna show you guys how you arrange them so what you want to do I'm not using a tape method and that is the biggest thing so you want to put one in and you put it on a slant then you want to add the next one and put it on a slant so automatically you see they're crisscross so that is what you want to do you want to take your next one and go under your next one you go over so right there you see where everything is crisscross and that is what you want then you start going in and crisscrossing this way so with these I may run out and here I'm going slightly under I may run out of these and if so that's perfectly fine I have so many that I can add in so now at this point, what you want to do is go ahead and start clipping these. Um, I usually clip all of mine to put them on a slant right here because that is really good to do. But I don't always do it. So this is the point right here where you add. And once you um, get enough of them in here, it will stand up, but of course, we're going to put greenery in here. And when you add the greenery in here, it helps it stand up also. So I will be clipping some of these and adding these like in the middle. So some of them may fall, but hey, once you get to the point of adding your greenery and everything, um, you just readjust, and when you readjust, of course, um, like this, I typically use that at the end. I think I'm going to do what I usually do and just use that in. Now, like this one, you remember I said it was so short, so we don't want to use that one. So we definitely want to use this, so um, you can tell how tall that is. So I want to just clip that and just start adding them in that's all you're going to do you don't have to use this tape method that's messing up your vases and i'm one as you can tell and i have purchased vases that's much more expensive than this 35 dollars is a scratch um especially with your girl but of course you know i had a coupon <laughs> i had a coupon so i did get um it for a discount price um, I think I got like 15-20% off it, so hey, that's good. Anything off it is 
phenomenal so with this one i am going to be using baby's breast so i only have two pieces guys only two pieces so we really got to work with those two pieces so what i want to go in with first i thought i had all of this cut off but i don't so let me get this off okay so the first thing i want to use is this one I'm going to use this one first. Hopefully, I will have um, enough to go around. So, what I'm going to do is place these on the outside. Don't place them on the inside yet. Just go ahead, place them on the outside. And you can see it's starting to kind of like come together. This is something that I absolutely love to do, guys. Um, I was thinking one time, hey, I need to go work in a florist because this is something your girl loves to do. I really love to put flowers together. I like the look of it. So as you can see, it's starting to fill in just a little bit. So now at this point, I have these two that was left over. They are now going on almost a month. So um, I'm gonna go in and just start adding those in. I'm not gonna clip these anymore because they were already pre-clipped. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those in the middle so now the trick to i have some more greenery let me flip these roses over i have some more greenery so i'm going to use these i'm going to add these in also so you don't ever want to add them like red on top of each other make sure you spread them out don't use them red in these i like to stick them like in the middle this one needs to be cut so let's go ahead and give that one a cut. So if you want just a straight rose um, bush, that's quite easy to do also. So here I wanna go and add that in there. So it's come together like I really want it to go. So if you wanna add a pop of color in there, that's the time you go ahead and just add your pop of color. But, um, I don't want to add a pop of color in here because I am just doing green and white. And these are my friends. These are like the baby's breast to me. So I'm going to go ahead and add this in the middle. Guys, I'm telling you, this is what your girl loves to do. I love a beautiful flower arrangement. I really, really do. So this is meant like this, and when you open it, here it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck that like right in the center. So I wanna make sure that it is touching and making sure the water is in. And now I'm gonna go ahead, because I only have two pieces of baby's breast, I'm gonna clip the end of my baby's breast because your baby's breast, I like it to be semi-short to go in there just to, uh, baby's breast is a filler. I'm, I'm just gonna put it out there. It is a filler. So when you have your flowers, you can just go in there and just put them in there. It's a filler and it's, see how that just, look at that arrangement guys. And I really did not do much to it. And look at there. Oh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. And you see, I really didn't do anything really little or nothing to it and also guys i did not use the tape method it is just a crisscross method it is so easy criss criss x go on the other side x and start going in between that anything that you want to stand up in the middle just tuck that directly in the middle then go in and add in your greenery all of your fillers baby's breasts whatever add your fillers and it's just that easy so this arrangement guys Guess what is done? So I'm gonna show you this one up close and I'm gonna do a smaller arrangement. So if you are on the look and hey, you don't have a vase that big, you wanna do a smaller vase. So here's my vase. I did not wash it um, completely. Um, I'm gonna add water. Do I have, hmm. Trying to look and see what other vase that I have. I do have my tall vase here. 
but I don't want to do another tall one. I will show you at the end what that one look like. But that one is going to go in my office. I don't know why you're crooked, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So let me go ahead and just add some water. Okay, for this one, guys, I add about that much of water. I don't like putting a whole bunch of water in my vases. I really don't. So with this one, guys, I am going to do this one with some of that beautiful hot pink. So, Miss... Pam, this arrangement is going to be a little dupe for you, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and cut that. So, I did cut a good bit of that off. So, let me go ahead and turn my overcam back on so I can show you with it being a small vase exactly what you want to do. You want to do the same method. It's, it's no different. It's the same method. So, the crisscross method. And with this one, of course, the vase is much smaller. And you can see by the mouth, it is much smaller. But I am going to do this one with two different colors. So I have the hot pink and I'm going to use the blush pink. Well, yeah, it's like a blushy pink. So I'm going to use that one. So um, if you hear something, that's just my daughter walking around. So um, with this one, I have a cut a good bit of it off. So it was, it was more like a long stem rose. So... Um, once again, crisscross method. And now, once you start that one, it is very, very easy to go ahead and start filling um, in. So, I just go in any kind of way at that point because I've been doing it like this for quite some time. So, it makes it easier, but I want you to see it, to understand it. So, you don't be wasting up tape, messing up your vases. I don't want you to do that because it can happen. With this one, guys, the thorns is still on it. If you can see that up close, the thorns are still So be very careful. Be very, very careful. So I want to go in and get this one tucked right there. At this point, I can go ahead and just stop. But I do have some of the small ones still. Um, some of them are white and some of them that are that blushy pinkish color so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of these in here um, that one is still so small so let me go ahead and just use one of these so I'm gonna be adding in a little pop color well not a pop color but um, that white one but I think what I'm gonna do I'm just add two of those on there because I have like three or four of them still so um, I'm going to add these in. I think I cut that one a little bit too short. But I can put those in the middle. So those are in the middle. So now you see everything flopping once again. So now let's go in and start adding our fillers. So I'm going to use this one first. And go ahead and start filling in. And with your scissors, guys, these are just some scissors that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. It's the Betty Cracker. Betty Crocker, Betty Crocker, oh, can't talk, um, hell, it's, it's, it's Saturday, okay, it's Saturday, um, so I'm going to go in and just start just adding these in, and as you can see, it is starting to come together, and that is exactly what I wanted to do, to come together to bring the flowers alive, so this is a huge one, that's all one piece, so I will save that one to the side, so I do have like a little bit of stray pieces. I will just tuck that in there. And because I have these, um, I think I'm going to use these in here because I don't want to throw them out. So let me go ahead and cut these in. I'm going to add these in. So you remember the mouth of this one is pretty small. So, um, got to be careful with that. So, I'm just going to add these in. And I think it is looking so good. What do you think? Um, so far, looking at it, do you think you can do this um, without the tape? <laughs> Definitely without the tape. Guys, don't use that tape on your vases. Please don't use that vase on tape on your vases because you can make such a beautiful arrangement just with the crisscross as I said now look at that so to me guys the only thing that is missing from this arrangement is baby's breasts 
your girl love her some baby's breasts okay i love 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 me some baby's breasts but this is what this arrangement looked like and of course once again you see i use the crisscross method although it is one thing that i'm not liking in here and let me go ahead and pop these out because see that that'll let you know see with the crisscross method you see how that is in there i mean it's there um let me do something a little different let me i have a few of these and they still long so i'm going to cut these a little bit longer because i that's what i want that is what i want i want them to be seen i want them to definitely be seen so all of these about the same 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 yeah, so I have to use those in a different arrangement. Um, do I have? Yes, I have one more. I have another one. So let's go ahead and tuck that one in here. So yes, that is what I want. That is what I want. So um, overall, guys, what I honestly miss out of this is baby's breast because I love what baby's breast look like. But this is a beautiful arrangement. So that is another one. So let's go ahead and do the last one. And this one is going to be for my office. Okay, so since I already have water in here, it's room temperature. This is my large vase. And you probably will see some floaties in there. Don't mind them. So with this one, because this vase is so tall, the outside mouth is wider, but you have this in here and it's much smaller. But yet, crisscross method, you can still use. Don't have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and start the crisscross method with this one and you will see with this one it's it's like the easiest because it's no cutting you don't have to worry about how tall it is you don't have to worry about any of that so the only thing you're doing is just adding to me so that is starting to come out so pretty but once again guys i'm gonna tell you what it's gonna be missing they have baby's breasts. I love, love, love baby's breasts. I really love baby's breasts in my flowers. So now I'm going to go ahead and start adding this color in. So hopefully you can still see how it's going in on the bottom. And some of them you have to kind of like play a little... Thing to get them in there the correct place but I tend to get in there and I'm going to show you this face once I am finished how you can see them all twine in the bottom of the vase you would definitely see that and that is a good good indication of you did it the right way so I'm going to go right smack down in the bottom and go because I want that one in the top and let's see what kind of greenery we have left so we do have this one which don't think that is tall well we're gonna see if this one will work because um, I do want some greenery in there so that is okay let's see what else we have this one would be perfect so and I still have roses, guys. I still have roses. So let's go ahead and tuck this one in. So once again, guys, um, have one phone. The main thing to me is the baby's breast. And I know you don't always have to have baby's breasts, but it's just pretty. So I have this huge one, guys. I'm going to see if I can tuck that one all the way. Yep down through the middle because I want to see if I can cascade it out a little bit since I don't have any baby's breasts. So this one is absolutely so pretty. Like right here, 
if you can see like right here it's like i don't have anything there to me so i am going to add in another flower let's pick a good one so with this one i am going to go and cut that one a little bit and let's get that one in there so pretty so i think now i think i'm getting ready y'all i'd be so indecisive but when i put my arrangements together i just love them to be really uniform really pretty and when i stand back and look and i'm like yes your girl did that so i want you to feel the same way about your beautiful flowers that you do in your home i want you to feel the exact same way that you did it and don't tell them i showed you how to do it act like you already knew it okay so this is this one guys if this arrangement had to go to like someone that's sick and shut in for a good well or whatever if you put a huge bow i don't have any pink ribbon or polka dot ribbon i don't have either one but you could put a huge bow right around the neck right here and it would be so pretty okay so that would be so so gorgeous so that is a another arrangement so i want to share with you guys i want to share with you um an arrangement let me cut this off i got overhead your girl feel like a whole <laughs> a whole giddy up over here so i'm going to show you all guys with arrangement that i did put together this week and i want to show you what it looked like now and i want to show you guys what you need to do to make it um boost it up a little bit once you have had it for a little bit of time so this is an arrangement that let me see this is an arrangement that i did do this week so trying to get all this stuff from up under so this is the arrangement you see i have some that is going dead right here and you can see in here i have some of these tips that are brown and also guys look at my water my water is getting murky and nasty looking so it is time to change this water and it's also time to give my flowers a little love and tender care so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and remove it and clean our container okay now guys we have some fresh tap water so what i'm going to do with this one um these i'm just going to go ahead and throw away because they've had it we can still use this but now what i want to do i didn't even cut this off oh just got slapped in the eye with some water what i did with this when i came in i hurry up and put it in water because i did not want it to die so um i did i had to cut the red, the rubber band off it and it's been here some days so here is what i want to do i'm going to go ahead and pull these off i just want to pull them off we're going to do a different arrangement so this is how what this is something that i do to my flowers to make my flowers last a little bit longer um change the water reprune um if i have to remove all um leaves like i'm doing now i do have a little bit of filler um that's left from the other flowers so this is what i'm doing with these i am going to cut them down a little So let's get this taken care of. Um, if you choose to leave like one or two leaves, I'm going to leave that one there. So um, like this one, she's gone. She's done. So um, I'm not even going to bug with her. And like when you see this, you want to go ahead and just go ahead and remove it. I am going to keep that one, although it has a little bit on the tip. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Um, she's up like that. So I think she still have a little bit of life. So we're going to go ahead and keep her. And I see one more. 
That one has a little bit of life too. So we're gonna keep her also. Oh, yeah, I just stamp it, oh my gosh. So um, I will see if we can use that one. So we're gonna use the same vase, and this is not a vase, guys. You can use anything glass as a vase, it's not a vase. I have a top of that that you put spaghetti in it, okay? So you can use anything as a vase. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just Add these back in. This is no kind of crisscross or whatever with these because of what they are. Peonies. Um, they tend to just flop any way they want to flop. And that's perfectly fine with me. So what I want to do is have them kind of like flop to one side of the vase. Let's see. Yep. We got the baby in there. That baby is in there. So... Because we have these greenery, um, is it tall enough? I think we can put these in here. And we have some greenery that is left over. So, mm, that is not doing what I want it to do. So let's go ahead and take that out. Um, what other greenery? Let's go ahead and add that in. So it's more so now I'm just trying to go and fill in just a little bit. These are the blush pink ones. So let's cut these. And right now at the point, I'm just using the extra flowers and making a semi arrangement with it. And with the roses, because of their stems, you can still do the crisscross method. If you choose to do it with this, um, I'm doing a, a little bit of the crisscross method up under the bottom for the simple reason. Um, I do want these to have way they are off on that side, but I have flowers. That one is a little bit too, too floppy. So um, let's go ahead and cut that one because it's, it's really flopping. And I'd rather go ahead and cut it. Yes. That looks so much better. That looks so much better. So let's go ahead and all the flowers that we have left over. Didn't want this color downstairs, but um, it's still, it's gonna bring joy. It's gonna bring joy. So let's go ahead. So this one is like a mix arrangement in a way. Well, it's not in a way, it is. <laughs> so, um, now let's see i have some more roses but i do have this one so we're gonna just go ahead and clip that and put that right here yes perfect so now I, it's taking my camera so what i as i'm looking at it i'm getting ready to do a little something different and i know you're like girl yeah, I'm going to do something a little different. So what I am looking at, I'm going to cut these down. And I'm going to add these around. So that is kind of like how I'm looking at this. Um, I think it's going to come out cute with those kind of like flopping. However you make your arrangement, it's totally up to you. Um, don't have anyone telling you, oh, you can't mix this one with that one. They mix flowers all the time. All the time. So it's whatever you like, whatever floats your boat. And like with this one, I'm mixing all of these together. Somebody probably cringing right now watching me like, oh, no, 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 no. Hey, it's what's floating my boat at the end of the day it's gonna make me happy so you make your arrangement to make you happy okay so that is the most important part what is making you happy and right now she is making me happy and she's gonna be here in the kitchen so 
Now that I've changed that, I'm going to go ahead and just add the rest of these roses in here. I have a few of them. So we're just going to go ahead and add these in. And I think I'm going to leave this. Let's see what this one's going to look like. Long? Yeah, perfect. So all the rest of these, I'm just going to add in here. I'm going to leave them long. And no, I'm not doing the crisscross method. I'm not doing that. I'm just going in to go ahead so I can use these and put them in. But as you go, you definitely want to look at your arrangement to know exactly where to place them. So as you see, I'm looking around to see where I want to place a flower. Because you will have some spots where there is nothing. And you definitely want to feel that. So that is so pretty. So you remember we had those three. So I can't add them in. Hmm. Maybe I add them back in that other arrangement. So um, I'm going to grab that one. And let's go put it in that. So this is what that one came out to be. I will show you all of them at the end. So with all of these flowers, guys, we have four arrangements. So we're going to grab this one back. And we're just going to add these in. Just We're just going to tuck them in the sides. Just to make sure we can we use it. Because Miss Pam gave them to us, so we want to make sure we got full, beautiful use out of them. Definitely. So this is just the basic crisscross method. This is just a very easy way how you can come up with some beautiful arrangements. Very, very inexpensive. And you're not going to have your plants dying away from you. Pruning, not using the food, the plant food, and not using ice, and not using tape because you're just wasting money and messing up your beautiful vases. So, guys, I'm getting ready to show you all four of the arrangements that we did together. And, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, thumbs up my video. If you have any questions, please do put them in the comments below. I will show you guys, even if you want the long stem bouquet that you can take pictures with and put them in your arm. I do have a picture of that that I will insert like here. So these are just the long stem roses here. They were on clearance, guys. And I made a beautiful arrangement that I did a photo shoot with. So guys, any kind of way you want to do it is very easy to do. If you want a very small pot, you can do that. If you want like pots that tall, the only thing you need to make sure the stems are the right length. So that is the key. And the other key, guys, adding in your greenery and your baby's breast. If you can't put your hand on baby's breast, that is just the most beautiful filler that they have. Um, I'm going to go out in a few minutes. I'm going to check with one other place to see if they have any baby's breast. And if they do, I'm going to grab it. And then I will just put that on the end of the video. If not, if you don't see it, that means I did not pick up any baby's breast. But for now, guys, I'm getting ready to go ahead, close my mouth. I am so happy someone asked me to do this again because, guys, I am you girl that absolutely love flowers. Let me turn this off. I love, love, love flowers. And I get this from my mom and my grandmother. They were flower people. And just like um, the... Peace Lily, I'm getting ready to prune that one. Not sure if y'all wanted me to see that on camera, but I might put it at the end of this video of how just to prune that one. And it's just so easy. It's a method. It's not really a method. It's how you cut it. Um, so I might just go ahead and drop that to the end of the video. If you like my content, you know what to do. If you have seen here for this long to watch the whole entire video, go ahead and subscribe. I would love you to be a part of the VHive. And until the next video, guys, love and peace. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.